Well, so far, so good. Yeah, I invite you guys to uh, look at my earlier videos. I put a lot of videos up on my channel of the Z06. Z06, man, is truly a game changer. Trust me. It is truly going to be a game changer with that wide body. Them big old wheels. Two cup tires and like 325s on the rear and like 295s on the front or something like that 675 horsepower man what a monster what a monster and if you side side you you want to get you a a z07 option package it's even more of a monster it is like uh, uh, David and Goliath. This young lady here is my, is my heart attack. <laughs> it's my 19 year old daughter. <laughs> That's it? Just fries? Why just fries? French fries. Huh? French fries. They're like loaded fries with like cheese, pork, and stuff like that. Oh. <laughs> uh, this is John Shaft. This is my C7 Corvette channel. I ask you to hit the like button, share button, and subscribe to my channel. And hit the notification button so you will know when I am doing a upload. And I thank you guys for watching. And I will see you again in the next video upload. Guys, you tell me what you think about these uh these C8 base models. Which which color do you prefer? These vehicles that you see on the screen are lined up for a Corvette Museum delivery. And you can also have a Corvette Museum delivery for $999 if you, you know, uh, 
choose to do so. These vehicles, these vehicles have to be prepped, washed, and uh, get ready for the uh, for the owners to come pick it up. Some of them don't even have a spot on them yet. It has to be probably at least over 100 vehicles out here. Somebody having stripes on your car it just brings it out. Add that more, that much more of a sportier look to it. As you, as you can see, this black one also has stripes. It has gray stripes on it. Well, this is John Schaff, and you are viewing my C7 Corvette channel. I'd like to welcome you guys back to another episode. And I ask you to hit the like button, share button, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification button so you would know when I am doing a upload. Nothing said ownership like the Chevy the Corvette. Stop dreaming and start driving your new Corvette. I look forward to the day when I can come out here and see C C uh, C eight Z O six. You know, last year when the uh, when the Corvette first came out, the mid-engine 2020 model, they had like three millions or so uh, education in for this vehicle before the, before the vehicle was even built or manufactured. They had like three million three million education in for it. Uh, yeah, three million cars or whatever you want to call it. And of course, they did not meet that goal. They did, they did not even come close to that goal due to the pandemic, due to the strike, and due to the uh, shortage in parts, including the chips. I think they was only able to put out maybe 16,000. Uh, this year they might be able to, they might be on track to get them like over 20. And next year they hope to put out 40. So there's no way they can even, even meet these demand of, of uh, three million customers and now that the Z06 is coming out instead of being three million it's not going to be six million if you go off the go off of the same static stats uh that the uh, base model uh uh you know was uh compared compared to The base model, if the base model had uh, 3,000 education to it, then you can believe that the uh, the zero six is going to have the equal amount, if not more. So that's why I say some of you guys would not be getting a zero six because some of you did not get a base model. They built a car that. Uh, was very hot in demand 
and did not have the capability of keeping keeping up with the uh, demand of this uh, first mid-engine uh, uh, C8 Corvette, and is made in America. But like I said, just like some of you didn't get a uh, base model, some of you won't be getting a Z06. But don't let that stop, uh, disencourage you from trying. Because you might be one of the lucky ones to get one. They need about 10 plants to keep up with that uh, supply and demand, you know, when it comes to this vehicle. And then they are... Uh, uh, they, they, they cost more base, you know, to give them their supplies, can't even keep up with the car, can't even keep up with the vehicle. And of course, in the, in the plant, the plant, the plant just, I don't even think the plant went back to the second shift yet, because the plant was supposed to go back to the second shift on November the 8th. And, uh, and they was only running, running one shift because of, uh, uh, shortage and, uh, uh, supply. And it, it wasn't uh, the uh, chip this time, it was, it was something else. And now the plant is closed, closed down uh, until further notification due to the Bowling Green area. Okay.